Well, today was Sunday the 9th of October 2016. It's now 12.15 a.m., so we're now into Monday morning, uh, the 10th of October 2016. And just... Uh, Two working days. There will be an appeal in the high, sorry, in the Court of Appeal in Wellington for the Sayo Oyang appeal against the Ministry of Primary Industries and 26 fishermen that I represent who are seeking relief from forfeiture and have made claims under Section 256 Round Brackets 1 Round Brackets Little C of the Fisheries Act 1996 seeking relief from forfeiture over a foreign forfeited sister ship. The vessel Oyang 75, they are seeking that to be paid wages for working on vessel Oyang 70 that sank and for working on Oyang 77 which didn't sink but was forfeited to the Crown and is a floating rust bucket. So let's have a look at my chapter 9 of my uh, submissions. These are the concluding submissions. It is not disputed by any of the parties to this appeal that the 26 fishermen the subject of this appeal are by occupation foreign fishing crew. It is not disputed by the parties to this appeal that Oyang 75 is a foreign fishing vessel. It is not disputed by the parties to this appeal that Oyang 75 was forfeited to the Crown on the 21st of September 2012 for fishing crimes. There can be no dispute that Oyang 75 is the sister ship to Oyang 77 and Oyang 70. The sister ship was purchased by the appellant to replace the sunken Oyang 70. Accordingly, for the fishermen that I represent to be able to claim an interest in unpaid wages over Oyang 75 as a, sister, as a sister ship, they would need to have unpaid wages as at the date of the forfeiture, which was the 21st of September 2012. The affidavits of each of the 26 fishermen who are the subject of this appeal have provided evidence on oath by way of affidavits that they have unpaid wages owed to them and that this occurred before the 21st of September 2012. To date there is no evidence that they have been paid these wages so they remain unpaid. For the purpose of this appeal the amount of wages that has been unpaid is not at issue, as that will be determined by the forfeiture court. However, it actually involves millions of dollars because there's so many fishermen, they work so hard and they were so underpaid. The 26 fishermen's interest in the unpaid wages is, we submit, a legal or equitable interest that existed on the date of forfeiture. The sister ship was used in the commission of a crime and was forfeited. Therefore, we submit it fits within the definition of other forfeited property. The fishermen are entitled to claim their unpaid wages over the sister ship as other forfeited property. The application under section 256 round brackets 1 round brackets little c does not require in our submission prior multi-jurisdictional litigation in the Admiralty Court. Allowing crew wages to be paid out of the forfeited sister ship would be consistent with the long-held view that there must be a trusty source of security for seamen's wages in order to facilitate commerce at sea. Therefore, we submit that the fishermen who we represent are entitled to proceed with their applications under section 256 round brackets 1 round brackets c of the Act over the sister ship Oyang 75 and to have their applications remitted back to the Christchurch District Court for hearing and we submit that the appellant Sayo Oyang Corporation's appeal should be dismissed and the appeal decision of His Honour Justice Davidson dated the 18th of December 2015 should be upheld. Thank you.